Hi, welcome to Awkward Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this LED projector. I got this off Amazon. Paid a little over $100, like around 115 or so. That's after clipping the coupon. Show some of the information for this. There's two versions of this. There's the, um, the one I got, which is just an LED projector. And there's another one that supports or has Android built into it. We showed some pages from the user manual here. If you want to read any part in more detail, just feel free to pause the video. It came with HDMI cable, power cable, a like a RCA adapter, and a remote control. No batteries for the remote control. The remote control isn't really needed for the version I got because, well, it's, there's no Android built into it. For me, I it, would, it, it did not matter that it did not come with an Android operating system because what I plan to do is connect a Fire Stick or like any of my Apple devices to it. Here's the most important page here. Um, my best projector is the Epson over there. The problem about the Epson is that it's huge, difficult to look around, and it does not have an audio out. Whereas with this projector, here are the ports. We got VGA input, infrared, headphone port, so it's audio out. The RCA input I mentioned earlier, SD card stop, slot, USB. So this, I can plug in flash drives if I want to. And for like my my other devices as power by like uh, Chromecast, for example. On the bottom, there is a tripod thread adapter. So this unit, I want to say it's heavy, it's maybe three pounds. Focus, other adjustments. Then here are the uh, enter the menu system. It also has a attached lens cap. Here's the whole menu. What I'm gonna do is go to the source. I'm gonna switch it to HDMI. My Fire TV stick is right here and is plugged directly to that 5 volt USB out. The image quality is good. It's not excellent like my Epson, but keep in mind, this is much smaller than my Epson. This is something that we'll be using in the backyard. Previously, I'll be lugging the Epson to the backyard whenever we're doing movie nights. Now, I did find a problem with this projector. I had high hopes for the audio out, the headphone port, here is the headphone port. I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to put the camera down for a sec. All right. I plug this in. The other end is plugged into my speaker over here. And no audio. The video is still playing, but nothing. No audio. Let me lower the volume again. Unplugged the headphone port. And I'm going to switch this speaker. I'm going to switch it over to um, Bluetooth here. So now we can hear audio from this. Tape on it has their return policy. Let's take a look at the care instructions here. Pause the video for a sec. There's audio coming out from there now only because it's being transmitted through the, the Fire TV stick. Not sure why the audio over here isn't working. This is the same audio cable I use for my other devices. But for this one, eh, I'm not sure why it's not working. Let me try it again. Make sure it's plugged all the way in there. All right. Let me switch this back to the line in. Let me hit play. So that's playing now. Still. 
nothing. The switch is over to Bluetooth. So now we hear the audio Let's coming it from it. Let's Let's open it up. Kind of sucks, but hmm. for something that's a hundred dollars, I would have hoped that the okay, okay, okay. It's for Pikachu. The larger dial here. This is adjusting the focus. This other one is to tilt it. So here's the focus. Right now it's out of focus. I'll move it back into focus. Just about in focus. And the other one is to tilt the image. See how the image is tilting. Tilting downward, tilting upward. I'm sitting about two feet. The fan noise coming from the projector is louder than my Epson. Whereas the Epson is more about almost whisper quiet. This one, it's not bothersome. People can have conversations over this fan noise. They can still enjoy TV shows, movies, play games. I'm gonna move the my phone speak microphone closer to the fan. Now about two feet away, yeah, the fan isn't that loud. I've been looking for a projector to replace my Epson just because that one is just too heavy to lug around. I was hoping this will be it. This one's advertised to be 2,000 lumens. The brightness is definitely there. It's just that the headphone out, the audio out, that's actually very useful. And it sucks that it doesn't work on this unit here. I'm not sure if I got a bad unit or, or what. I might return this. I'm not sure yet. This is my review of this projector here. I'll place the link below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.